The Swansea Cork Ferry Company was set up in April 1987 to fill the gap left by B and I, which abandoned this southeast sea route in 1983. Despite increasing its passenger and car numbers this year to 130,000, the company has suffered heavy financial losses. It blames the heavily subsidised fares being offered by B&I on its routes, against which the Cork company says it is forced to compete. Today's deputation told the minister the loss of the ferry service would have a catastrophic effect on tourism in the Cork and Kerry region. A recent report on the service showed it was responsible for creating £10 million in tourist revenue last year and increasing the number of British visitors to the region by 6%. We are not objecting to B&I being helped um, to fight their battle bring tourists to this country, but we are here to make the point that we have been treated in a similar fashion. It's as simple as that, and we've made that point, that the future of the ferry depends basically on how the Irish government treats this ferry company. As a result of today's meeting, I believe, I am confident in fact, that the Minister now realises the importance of the ferry, has accepted in fact the importance of the ferry, and that he will come up with the monies required to keep the ferry going, uh, not only for the months remaining of this year, but for next year.